In League of Legends, the Sword of the Occult item has been updated since the last time we looked at it. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at how cost-effective the Sword of the Occult is after these changes. Let's take a look at the item now. The Sword of the Occult costs 1400 gold and grants 10 attack damage. It will also grant 5 additional attack damage per stack and 20% attack speed at 20 stacks. Two stacks are gained on a kill, one stack is gained on an assist, and half the current stacks are removed on death with the amount removed rounding down to the nearest integer. The item will also now start with 5 stacks initially, meaning one wastes 140 gold on stats when first purchasing this item. For reference, one saves 250 gold on attack damage when purchasing a BF sword. Each stack grants attack damage worth 180 gold, making the item cost effective at 6 stacks or more. To be more cost effective than a BF sword, a Sword of the Occult needs at least 8 stacks. At 20 stacks, one will have saved 3,160 gold on this item making it incredibly cost-effective in this state. However, if one dies with a Sword of the Occult, they will need to have had at least 11 stacks to retain a cost-effective version of the item, and at least 15 stacks to retain a version better than a BF Sword. Overall, it takes more stacks for a Sword of the Occult to become cost-effective than a Magi Soul Stealer, and in most cases, one is better off spending the extra gold on a BF Sword. Make sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math.